Hello everyone, welcome back. Hadley is tending to her garden and these plants should be able to be harvested in the next sim day, which is cool because that means that we can imbue people with the different emotional charges. There's rage, kindness, laughter, and love. And then when she's done, she's going to eat an omelet because she's a little hungry and then she's going to go and buy a winning lotto ticket from the grocery store. Evan, I'm going to have him read his bot building book because he is so close to his next uh, bot building level, which is level 9. I can't believe it. Look at how close he is. Dane has actually improved meal quality to level 3 on the food synthesizer, and he's also programmed three new recipes into it. And then Dane, let's see. Once you're done reading your little romance novel, I'm going to have you go over to the grocery store and also buy a winning lotto ticket. Because in the last video, we went to the city hall in the future and we checked the lotto records and we got this uh, moodlet that says insider tips after some stupid around Dane knows the winning lottery numbers he's tempted to use this information for personal gain which is obviously what we are doing because we're naughty I don't know <laughs> so Dane is going to do that and then he's gonna come back home and once Evan is done I think I'm gonna have him change the future to utopia I'm gonna have him have some fun even though he has been well you know what he's been working very hard actually I was going to consider that something that he's been doing for fun but we've been selling it for money and stuff and for promotions so he needs he needs a little break and he I think he'll have uh, a lot more fun changing it to utopia <laughs> you know so we've paid our bills I I left the bills there last time we were here in Lunar Lakes and we had I think it was like 539 yeah something like that so he's done it! He's improved his bot building skill to level 9. He can now further upgrade plum bots to have 6 trait chip slots, and all newly created plum bots will start with 6 trait chip slots. So I'm gonna have you uh, stop doing that, and he does not really want to wash all dishes in room. I'm going to have him upgrade her trait chip slots, and we're gonna give her back her competent cleaner trait chip because. That is uh, a very handy one. And since we're going into Utopia, we need a nice, uh, clean home. So Hadley, she's... I don't even know how long this is going to take her. They're pretty much almost charged to 100%. Oh, this one's charged actually at 100%. Nice. I think they get charged a little bit once they... Um, Evan, every time. <laughs> but once they, they grow uh, into their next, you know, growth state... I think they get charged a little on their own, if that makes sense, instead of just having her charge them all the time. I, I hope that makes sense. Evan is a little stir crazy. Don't worry, we're going to go into the future. So let's adjust her trait chip slots and give her back her competent cleaner one. He's upgraded her trait chip slots and yay. Oh, I should also tune her up to see if we give her more levels. Uh, tune up, yes. Okay. Hello, Robin. Are you up for some new trait chips? So, competent cleaner, tune a plumb bot, or turn a plumb bot into a cleaning machine and never touch a mop again, which is very handy. So, we'll give her that one. We have one more to unlock, which is um, what will happen when we reach level 10 of the bot building skill. We are so, so close to um, mastering that skill. Look at this. This one skill is also going up pretty quickly, kind of. I mean, he's already gotten a little bit towards his next skill. <laughs> All right, is this going to be successful? I hope so. I think we're at level five already. Yeah, decent. Did we improve her in any way? Uh, maybe? No? It doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. So, Evan, I'm going to have you open your almanac of time and change it to the utopian future. Inspired by centuries of whimsical stories, the Sims of Oasis Landing built a paradise, flowers bearing dews that dot the landscape, and nobody can account for a strange buried gold being, being found about town. So... There's buried gold. That's pretty cool. The locals walk around joyfully, greeting each other with whimsical waves. Aw, so we're going to trigger this event. Look at how pretty it looks. Whoa, look at the, the different colored, like, rainbow trees. Okay, we're going to trigger this event. And Emmett Relevar, you should be hopping out of the time portal. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Slowly appearing. Scanning for smiles. You want to make the future a better place. It's my cheerful calculations. No, if my cheerful calculations are correct, we can use this goopy stuff I call do to make everyone happier. Take this scanner I cobbled together and gather some data of Sims laughing to confirm my calculations. Scan three Sims while they laugh and we'll get advanced technology skills from this. Of course, as we usually do with these uh, opportunity trains. Look at that. Oh, snap. All right. 
So how about we measure his cheerfulness? We'll do that after we do Robin's because Robin is right here in front of us. So might as well. Let's go and see. Measure her cheer che cheerfulness. <laughs> Dane, he can come back home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left you over there. Evan, look, he's got the time almanac in his hands. That is so cool. So did, oh yeah, we got, we successfully scanned one out of three sims. We'll measure your cheer, cheerfulness too. I don't know why I, I can't say that the first time. <laughs> All right, Emmett, you ready? Cheerfulness, come on. Evan, what is taking you so long? Dane is here, he's back home. Hello Dane, how about we uh, assemble these mysterious fragments? We'll get one more key from this and we'll put it over here next to your cool laser rhythm -icon. Oh yeah, you know what, let's have you play your laser rhythm -icon. He keeps trying to get his um, magnet, but that is not going to happen. It's in a place where he cannot reach it, which is good because he uses it oh so much. <laughs> Hello, Emmett Relevar. What is wrong with you? I would like to measure your cheerfulness. Thanks. Thanks very much. Okay, let's cancel this because it doesn't look like it's going to work. I'm going to go over here, and then I'm going to see if we can measure his cheerfulness. Oh, Hadley just improved her gardening skill to level 4. Sweet. And Dane combined the mysterious fragments into what appears to be a mysterious key. Yay. Okay. So, are we doing it? Finally. There we go, Emmett Relevart. Are we measuring his cheerfulness? Yeah. Oh, it's all like green. And he's laughing. <laughs> we did it two times. Okay, Hadley. Uh, well, Hadley is kind of busy. She's going to be doing stuff for a while. Let's have you go somewhere. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh my gosh, they're they're protesting. Is this like City Hall? Look, there's just a sign on the floor. This is City Hall. Okay, no wonder. So let's go over here and um, I don't know. Measure this guy's cheerfulness. Measure cheerfulness. I think that sounds good. Look at all these people. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, and a mermaid. Chris Landgrab. Come on, mermaids. So many of you. All right, who are you? Carlos Mosqueda. Uh, are you a vampire? Your eyes are glowing. Oh, so beautifully. Great llamas. This data confirms that my goopy doo has the potential to unleash the inner whimsical side of Sims. Happy Sims will lead to a happy future, right? First, we need to test subjects. Since I need to operate the scanner, let's choose you. Don't be scared. It's for science. Use do on yourself. Doing a trial run. <laughs> Doing. That's cute. Nothing makes me happier than a scanner full of piping hot data. I'll need further assistance soon. All right. I'll look at this mushroom and, and a seed right there. So do. This is black dew. This dew is so black that its true color is a mystery. Nobody will know its true, its real color until it's used. Uh, so, oh, we could blow dew bubbles. Let's use the dew on ourselves. I'm nervous. What is going to happen? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, he turned pink. He turned pink. Spreading good cheer. It works. Your readings were off the chart. Your quarks have acquired a distinctly whimsical spin of the only what with only a small colorful side effect just one sim isn't enough to make a difference we need more take my whole stock of dew and splash your fellow sims with it use dew on six other sims okay this should be very fun are they all going to turn pink i don't know oh we have to click on this okay so we're going to throw dew on alexander cross uh amelia loveland uh our arthur land what is it langerak and see if this will do it. So that's four out of six Sims. We'll get Benjamin Benton and Carlos. Did he already leave? I don't know where he went. Where are you? Oh, okay. So we threw it on this guy. What does this say again? With a glob of black dew, Evan took his chances with fate. It's anyone's guess what color Evan will turn. Oh, wow. He turned yellow. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's like mustard yellow. And he's also gotten level six. Oh, advanced technology. What the heck? I just, I told you to throw dew at people. Amira Grace. Let's go throw dew, dew at her. <laughs> uh, Evan, what are you doing? Alexander Cross. Did I just waste it? No, I guess it worked. If you throw it on them... Oh, he's... He's blue. Okay. Arthur. Let's try Arthur now. Oh, so you could just continuously, like, throw it on the same person. That's pretty cool. What is up with this sign? Oh, this is, uh, an invisible person. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, well, I wanted to see what would happen if we threw it on other people. Oh, he's got a moodlet. Pinkified. Exposure to dew leaves Evan glowing a tropical shade of pink. He feels right at home along flamingos. Oh, we saved this guy from being stuck in the floor. We did you a favor. Okay, we threw it on uh, Benjamin. Uh, turning him into one of the many colors of the rainbow. Dane just got laser rhythmicon too, and we turned him into a different color. A fluctuation in the space-time continuum may have affected your descendants, Evan and Dane. And, well, dew hasn't melted you. I was slightly worried about that. How do you feel? Are you serious? It could have melted us. That's pretty dangerous. Okay, so we need two more people. Look at them. They're all protesting in different colors, kind of. One of them is yellow. Oh, no, he turned blue and red. All right, so we should uh, maybe throw it. You know what? Let's throw it on other people over here because we don't really know them, so it should be fine. How about Carly and Amira? I was going to try to do that. I was going to try to turn you into a different color, but you it, it didn't let me. It, it chose the other guy instead. Okay, boom. What color are you? Sims who transcend greatness are remembered for all the... No, for all time as a legacy statue. Use the time almanac to find and meet these Sims. Who's talking to him? I don't know. I guess Evan just wants to go home. Oh, and Emmett left. We didn't even get to change him into a funky color. So let's have you go over here. Dane can stop playing. Hadley, I'm going to have her come home because she's done. I think she bought a lottery ticket. Yeah, it's 5.40, almost uh, 6 o'clock. I don't know when they get their, their winning money. So how about we stop with the playing. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm going to have Evan change you into a color. Yes, we're going to throw it at Dane. It's too bad you can't throw it at Plumbots. <laughs> That'd be funny. Your Robin would be like a bright purple color. That'd be cool. Okay, Dane, what color are you going to be? Red. Wouldn't that be cool if you were red? Is he? Blue. How about green? Come on. Oh, blue! He's blue! You're doing spree. <laughs> That's so funny. Doing spree created such emotional resonance that I was able to detect it, even in here. Planting seeds of joy. I've been keeping track of your progress, and sadly, just splashing a few sims won't do it. In the meantime, I've modified my last goop of dew into an aerosol spray form. This will pack enough punch to affect a whole region. Hand it off to the local mil military base, and their pilots will seed the atmosphere. Is that safe, though? <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Visit military base. This action will change the future. Is, is this the last one? Really? That was so easy. That was so quick. All right. Oh, pause for a second. Introduce do into the environment. Visit Grunt Military Base to complete this opportunity. We shall uh, do it. <laughs> Splat. Evan Honors used the black do on Dane Dodson, turning into turning him into one of the many colors of the rainbow. Uh, so, Dane, let's see. What is your mood look called? Blueified. An encounter with colored do has turned Dane ocean blue. One might say he's feeling rather blue. Is that bad? 10 plus mood, so that's good. Evan, once you're done, I want him to blow some bubbles. Because I want to see what that looks like. Blow do bubbles. Oh, we could place them somewhere. Oh my gosh. Robin. Uh, what was that about? <laughs> I think somebody tried to initiate a water balloon fight. But that didn't work out too well. So, Dane. I think it's about time we work on your advanced technology skill again while we're here. I mean, just for a little bit. Oh, no, I didn't mean to summon him a bunch of times. I meant to talk to Antoine. There we go. And see if we could get him a little bit more technologic. Oh, my gosh. What? I just saw two million simoleons. Are you serious? That's so much money. Okay, well, let's see how big the check is. It's a pretty big size. It's the same size as the last big check that we got. Whoa! She's going to do a little jig. Woo! Yeah! And Dane... Okay, this is this is so much money. I've never had this much money in The Sims before. There we go. Look at their little victory dances and the confetti. I can't believe it! Why? Why so much money? Uh... <laughs> Congratulations, Dane just won 2 million from the lotto. It has been deposited directly into his account. And a fluctuation in space-time continuum may have affected your descendants because we just won a huge chunk of money. Hadley won 62,500. Oh my gosh. I just... That's... 
too much money for me. <laughs> so jumping jackpot, Great Willie Lama's Dane won the lottery. He can't contain his overwhelming urge to jump for joy, plus 50 mood. I can't believe they only get it for an hour-ish. That's ridiculous. Like, if somebody won the lottery, they'd be happy for months, I'm sure. So Hadley... Are you- why are you stomping your foot? You're in a- you should be in a good mood. You won, uh, 62,000. I could buy you guys a new home in the future. We won't buy it just yet because, well, I don't really know which homes there are. I gotta- I gotta see which ones are there. But we will go into the future in the next video. I just want her to collect all of these lovely charged crystals, crystal flowers, crystal plants. This one is laughter. So we want laughter and love and rage and kindness. We have to, let's tend to the garden. If we tend to the garden, I think this is when she charges them. I'm glad that if you have her tend to the garden, she also charges them. And it's not like a separate thing to do, if that makes sense. Instead of just charging them uh, on your own, we can tend to the garden. She would water them, weed them, and also charge them. That's making sense, right? I hope so. <laughs> Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Evan is almost done. <gasps> we did it. We just did it. It's done. I can smell the joy descending on all sim kind. Here's the peace and rainbow skies. What? Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. That was so cute. Okay, Evan, go home. You can go home now. And I think we have successfully changed the future. So what does our time portal look like? I think we have to activate it. On our own. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, it's rainbow. It's very bright and it's rainbow. Look at how pretty. That is so, so pretty. All right, I'm very excited to go into the utopian future. I cannot wait. I have not been yet. Um, so it's done. I could smell the joy. Oh, I just read this. <laughs> Evan, I think what I'll do since we're here, I'll have him design nanites and design trait chips for a little bit and then I'll have him take care of his mood bars. I'll have everyone take care of their mood bars and then go to bed and, and all that stuff and then in the next video we are off to the utopian future and we're gonna see what's there, what's what fun we're gonna have there. Dane, stop trying to use the magnet. Look, the magnet is over here. He cannot reach it and he, he just will not give up. I don't know. <laughs> he really wants to use the magnet. Dan, I'm just going to let you go to sleep, because why not? So Evan is going to design trait chips and nanites and see what we can create. He's discovered all the nanites that can be designed. Oh, like forever. So that means even at level 10, he won't be able to create or design anymore. Um, all right, so I'm going to have him design some trait chips, because we do learn more. I guess the those are the only nanites that we can learn how to make. So once you're done, you're going to use the all-in-one bathroom. I'm going to have you grab a plate, and then you're going to go to bed because it's late. And Hadley, did you take care of your other mood bars? They're all right. Befriend a plum bot. Well, yeah, we can do that. I mean, Robin, are we friends with Robin? That'd be easy peasy. Oh no, we're distant friends. That's so bad. Dane. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm really excited for the next one. I'm excited to go into the future, into the utopian future, and to see what kind of homes there are. I'll I'll look at the homes in um, Edit Town. Oh look, there's like a random horse standing outside. Oh. So cute! Wild horse. Anyway, that's from Pets, by the way, if you didn't know. But yeah, I will go through um, the ho the houses in Edit Town and see which ones are best for our family, like how big they are and stuff and how they're decorated and everything. And then I'll choose one and then we'll move into one. I'm not sure when exactly we'll move into one, but... Um, uh, I do believe that no matter which future we go in, that house will remain ours. So we would go there instead of the base camp whenever we travel to the future. I hope that's correct. So yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.